All right, and now we're back on our lesbian adventure, and we've gotten uh, a few a hours. We got a dog. We got a few hours of sleep, so now maybe our commentary will make sense <laughs> instead of just delusional. Like, hey, what's going on? What? There's a dog. We were just really excited, so we wanted to. Play we wanted the first to play, hit. but we were so tired. <laughs> um. Got the death class stuff. Hey, where'd everybody go? Um, oh, yeah. Where, where'd our friends Hold go? Hold on, turn around behind you. Yeah. Were oh. we just chilling here overnight? Wait, and time couldn't have passed while we were asleep, right? All right. Oh, we just gotta, okay. Let's just follow the things until we catch up with them. Okay. People are already mad. That we're like, yeah, we're gonna kill dudes. They're like, oh, if a guy did that, I'm like, well, you know what? We live in an unequal world. I'm gonna take my benefits where I can, okay? Men get to paid more, I get to kill men, alright? In a Just video game. In a, in a video, video game. game, it's a joke. I'm not gonna actually kill men, or am I? No, I wanna wear it. I wonder what the like the downfall of wearing this suit is. There has to be a downfall. Maybe just moving really slowly? I feel like I'm moving pretty fast. See? Oh. I can still run and everything. I don't know, but you can I know you can leave it like put it here at the power station. Yeah, let's see what oh here, here's our buddies. Oh, there they are. Okay. We're good we're cool. Okay, so well at least we know that we can do things. Mm-hmm. Is someone going to steal it if we leave it behind, or...? I don't know, because it seems like we wouldn't want to bring it everywhere, but at the same time... Why wouldn't we? Yeah. Well, let's go follow our friends until they get to where they need to go. Yep. Did you see where they were headed off to? Uh, we can just follow this little, uh, dot on the map. See? They're crossing in the radiated Why water. Why wouldn't you use the bridge? <laughs> no, we're not going to... Oh, the fusion core. Ah. So if we just bring it everywhere, it's going to run out of juice, and we're going to have to abandon it. Ah, so let's just leave it back at the power station, I guess. Oh, wait. So you'll be unable to use V... VATS and you can't use like special moves and you'll move at a reduced rate. Oh, let's uh let's uh adventure without the the power suit then. I guess this is something that you save for like when shit goes down. When you gotta fight something important or like a big boss that's like outside of your level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh boy. Dog meat found something! What did, did you dog find? Meat find? If you're gonna say the power armor, dog meat, I'm not impressed. Look what it. Oh, what did you. Good job. Good job? Or. Oh. Ah. Thanks, dog meat. Level up. Oh! Confirm selection, yes. All right, we got Lady Killer. I mean, Black, Black Widow. Widow. Oh, so we can just go all the way down here and do whatever. Yes. Oh, we don't have to stay in one place. Okay, cool. Anybody who watches our other Let's Plays will know that we love Molotov cocktails. It's our fave. All right, let's get going. <laughs> and jump cut to where we need to go. Miss Furiosa. Welcome back, Mung. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. Uh... Nothing new here? No, oh, well, new friends. Okay. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Yeah, okay. 
Definitely. Come with me. Well, let's trade first. No, wait. Yeah, come with yes, me. Yes, of course. Lead the way, Mom. What? Oh. Dog meat? Does that mean we can't... Not to worry there, pup. Your mistress is in good hands. Oh, okay. We can go back and get him. Yeah. Oh, he tolerates me. Oh, we gotta get him to like us. <laughs> you call this place sanctuary? Cemetery seems a little more appropriate. Alright, you. Whatever. My woman's very grumpy. <clears throat> Who wouldn't be in a apocalyptic landscape, but... What's up? Got a laser gun. <clears throat> I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Sure. Yeah, why not? Uh, I lived here. Yeah. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... 200 years ago. Let's just be real. Yeah. Hey, I'm ancient, whatever, immortal or something. Are you impressed? I lived here over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Sure. Yeah, why not? Well, what kind of help? Yes. What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. I wonder what Diamond City will be like. The name has anything to do with it. it must be quite nice. Oh, Codsworth. Let's go to Diamond City because I just want to see what that's all about. Yeah. They're like, it sounds pretty great. We get there and it's like, God, there not this great? And we're like, oh. yeah. Okay. Relatively, I guess. <laughs> So somebody was saying that you can romance a robot in this game named Curie. You, you can romance a lady robot. A lady robot named Curie, who is probably named after Marie Curie, who was a pioneering chemist and physicist who learned a lot of what we know today about radiation. Um, although she never really acknowledged like the full negative effects of radiation, because she ended up, of course, Dying from she, didn't complications she, like, later on. Didn't she take a billion ra like uh, X-rays of herself? Like, isn't this neat out? Oh, I'm dead. Oops. <clears throat> I'm not sure, but she used to like carry radioactive stuff like around with her. In fact, her notebooks are still so irradiated that they keep them in like lead boxes. Oh yeah, she's the one who kept X-raying herself and being like, "Check this out." Oops, I am dying. Oh. Uh, and if you have to. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, these things are nothing. <laughs> Give me your insect meat. Blood proboscis. But anyways, and if people want to view her old research and stuff, they have to wear protective gear. Oh, what's that red thing moving towards you? It's probably just some random... It's not moving towards me, it's just uh -huh. doing its thing. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, now it's like running away. Let's not mess with it. Where's Codsworth? He's doing his thing. He'll come back. Oh. Ooh, these might be traitors. Oh, the yeah. only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. Okay. Hi. Uh, Hello to you, too. Totally on it. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Hey, at least it's honest work. What? Who are you talking to right now? <laughs> Stick to the roads, and you got a better chance of surviving. You guys are really nice by just giving me advice, and you don't even know who I am. Excuse me. Make a move, and I'll end you, Wasteland. Never mind. Business is good. Mmm, mole rat chunks. Mm. Wake up, we're here to help you. He's like, oh, okay, God, hold damn, on. Damn, woman. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around. Settle down. I'm with the Minutemen. I thought someone actually needed some help around here. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, But honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. What's the trouble? Is there something you need my help with? Oh, yeah. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Kill the raiders. Sure, I'll take yeah. all of them. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, there'll be a welcome change for the better. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just fix everyone's problems then. No worries. I'll turn off the radio. I was wondering where that was coming from. Oh, sorry. I, you were gone and I was like, alright. I was listening to music. Hope it stops raining soon because so far I'm like, wow, check out this empty, desolate wasteland. Whoa! Oh, okay. Uh, no, I'm not... No, we're fine. We're okay. It's like, hey, 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 hey! Step off. Whoa! So, when you were gone, I was playing around, and you, if you, like, loot enough shit, you'll eventually be able to craft something. <laughs> <laughs> something. Are you talking about this morning? No, when you were peeing oh. and stuff. Oh, okay. I was just, like, making food and stuff. Oh... Is this where I need to go? Yes. So you can see all the old collapsed highways. Yeah. I wonder what the war was actually about. No one ever says. They're just like, there's not enough shit, so now we're fighting. And I'm like, well, war is kind of a huge resource user, so... Well, that's the thing, though, is that people don't, like, think sensibly about that type of stuff. They're just like... I'm starving. They're just like, oh, I want stuff, you have stuff, I'm going to fight you over the stuff. Mutated what? Mutated fern flower. Ooh, come drops. Give me that. Are you sure there isn't someone more suited to all this? Oh. What? He probably doesn't like that we're stealing people's stuff. He uh. doesn't think it's polite or something. Ah! Ah! Codsworth, tank him! Yeah! Come on, Codsworth, you got it! We did it, Codsworth! Yay! Bond with me now! You should be so thankful. I totally held in a burp while we were doing the. I saw you were like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is cool. Yeah, you'll probably want to show people some of the environments, I think. Yeah, it's and just... And not edit out all the walking, because I know people will want to... See what the fuck is going on. Yeah. So we're going south into a city, so there's probably going to be trouble here. I just want to be able to, like, sell all this shit that I picked up. Get some money. Sell all the shit. 
uh, pay a. Oh, a, I hear gunshots. Oops. <laughs> Feeling a bit. Oh boy. Like what? Oh, oh, we're right here. Let's just uh, get out of here. We're out of here. Yeah, Cambridge. And how do you? How did you recognize that? Because of the um, it looked like the uh, T stop. Really? Yes. How did you recognize that? I gr I used to go there all the time. I don't I don't know if they include any recognizable landmarks, but the the T stop looked a lot like the ones that I recognized there. Oh. And then it said Cambridge Police Station. Oh, you know what though? What? That's gonna make you a very useful commentator because this whole area is in this area. I have no idea where we are, but Stacy seems to know. We're around Boston. And state and all the towns seem to be within two minute walking distance, but whatever. Yeah, don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> um well, because remember how earlier I, like, the first thing that I noticed is when we walked into that, like, Revolutionary Museum. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, my God, they have tons of these in the Northeast, which is where I grew up. So where do you think this is? Do you think this is Boston? <gasps> I feel like it seems small for Boston. Let's walk in. It'll probably, could it be? No. Well, it's a different name now, Diamond City. So what's a place that has a bridge to get into? I mean, this could be. That's the only building that looks like it's been made yes. recently. It's the only clean one, so I wonder what that's about. Wreck of the USS Riptide. Is it, I wonder what that... Do you want to look up what the Riptide was? Oh, yeah. Sure. If it's, or maybe it was built after our time. Um. I. I don't think it's, uh, it's anything. Wow, everyone just still might, is fighting so much. It might be a reference to something. Oh, Diamond City is that way. They seem to be fighting some... I wonder if they need help. Are they friendly? Are these guys... Mm, they're Diamond no. City security. Yeah, you know what? Just leave them. They seem they're to... fine. Yeah, they're okay. <laughs> They'll be alright. Oh, that thing's not hostile, so... Diamond City this way. Man, you would think 200 years after a nuclear fallout, they would have at least gotten some shit together, you know what I mean? Uh, but I guess if everything is radiated, it's hard to build a new society. Yes. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop oh, I wonder if you can see who the statue is. Oh. This is, is this Babe Ruth? Not to let you in, Ms. I think. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. No, it's not. Why would I say that? Ooh, <laughs> no, it's he's a baseball guy. <laughs> out, I know about it? as little about it as you do. Oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry. But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. This kind of reminds wow. me of, like, the Wizard of Oz. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't I wonder... Just the Emerald lock me City? Out. Yeah. Diamond City? I can wait all day, Danny. Open Whoa. up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Some... You. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah, I want in. Totally. But who are you? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. 
This is reminding me of the Wizard of Oz a lot. Better oh, head yeah. inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. I bet the the get the mayor's gonna be like a Pay no attention, attention to, to the man behind, behind the, the curtain. curtain. No, this is definitely some Wizard Wizard of Oz shit, right? Yeah. Okay. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. So, a couple things she said. She mentioned the, a big wall and a uh, green monster. The green monster is what they call the Piper, who back let wall you back inside? Oh. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level yeah. of dishonesty yeah. in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped that for parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Fuck authority. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Wait, uh, support news. Yes. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. What do you Welcome want? to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Where'd you get that flower? Seems pretty fancy for a wastelander. You're full of it. <laughs> Go for it. This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. She's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Missing person? Diamond City. Diamond City. What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and uh, the highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you. Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? I'm... I don't want to... something. Looking for something. Just... looking for something. Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Don't answer. No, my baby. I don't uh, know. Eh, well, he'll fall for it. My baby. Yes. My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? Now don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Is he our son? Mmm, a big mm. Diamond City welcome from the mayor. I don't think so. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. What makes you think that he'd be our son? Because I was looking at him, and he looked like a mix of her husband in our eyes. Mm. I'm just looking, I'm like, where's my baby? Yeah. Hey, baby! And then we couldn't black widow him, even though we're spe specked into it. Yeah. See, we're specked into it. Usually when you talk to any guy, you get, like, a, an option to, like, whatever. Lead yeah. belly. Well, I mean, they're easier to persuade. Ooh, lead belly. Mm. 
Yeah, that seems good, right? Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. What's that? I can eat radioactive food? Sounds good. <laughs> so... Officer? I'm sorry. Head on inside. What'd you say? Um, so I was just gonna let the audience know, some of you may already know that I grew up in New England. I didn't grow up in Boston, though, so although I know some stuff, I don't know everything. Hey, Sullivan. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? No. No, Fuck I got you. tons of stuff. I'm not, I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Oh, of course you do. Now tell me the one about you and the fish that got away. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. Uh... Missing person. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My baby. My baby's been kidnapped. His name is Sean. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. And we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? Help hey. me, bro. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. All right, I need a... The institute? The institute? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? His gun's Something made Something people wood. blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I see. Uh, bribe. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, I don't take bribes, okay? No. <sighs> Danny, God, you're a nerd. Else, Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? We need to put more points into persuasion. Yeah. It's just the, how I like to play is like, I just love getting the extra dialogue trees. I don't know why. Where you can persuade everybody to do shit. Now I'm wondering if you really could change the um, gender of your spouse. Because other people said that you could in the chat stream chat. No, they didn't say that you could. They asked us to. Oh, okay. Because so, I tried. this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will. Yeah. This is totally Fenway Park. And it also, hey, it, there's a Joe. lot of green. How are the paper sales? There's a lot of green, so I feel like they're trying to emulate a shitty version of the, the Emerald, Emerald City. City. Yeah. Yeah. And also because it is Fenway yeah, Park and most baseball so fields are like, cranking. they put a lot of green in there. Are shitty and green. I know, Amari. I know what you're <laughs> trying to say. <laughs> are shitty and dumb. <laughs> you angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> That's some teen girl Read style right there. It. Yeah, some things never change. People with Free paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The institute? You ain't heard of the institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night, and no one hears from them again. Sounds like where my it's baby all went. It's the paper. Better read up before they grab you too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. Soylent Green is people! Soylent Green is people! Yep. I believe you. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. So what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? Ah, my babe. I'm baby. looking for my baby. His name's Sean. You have a son, lady? Wow, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. 
and no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. So, I know what they're trying to say, but, like, if I was living in the Fallout wasteland, I'd be like, oh, people are missing? They got eaten. Or something, you know? Yeah. But I get what they're saying, but, you know. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Okay, kiddo. Sounds good. The forced evolutionary virus, FEV, is a major source of mutation in the Fallout universe. Super mutants, the master, and possibly some ghouls are a result of infection by the FEV. Aside from super mutants, the master also created a variety of other aberrant creatures using the virus, which includes, but is not limited to, floaters, centaurs, and potentially death claws. The FEV exists in various forms across the Fallout games, mainly to serve the goals of various antagonists. It was through the FEV that the Master made a super mutant army and how the Enclave meant to purify the world of mutation. 